This video will describe how to use VBA to copy data from an Access database into Microsoft Excel. And to do that, we're going to be using a VBA script in Microsoft Excel to be able to go and grab the data out of Microsoft Access and bring it into an Excel workbook tab. Now, there are other there are ways of going backwards. So, for example, there are other videos that could be done that shows you how to go from Excel back to Access but in this one we're going from access into Excel. So to do this we need to use a data access object. So what is this? Well, Microsoft Access comes with a graphical user interface and it also has a, a database engine. The job of the database engine inside a database management system is to basically respond to requests. What it does is it will receive queries and it will execute them and it will do things like number crunching and data selection and stuff like that. So what happens is uh, you can either do this manually where you go in through the graphical user interface in Microsoft Access and you write a query and submit it or you can submit a query or other instructions through a utility called data access object. This is basically an object that was designed and installed with Microsoft Office to allow you to be able to, to bring data out of Excel into Access or vice versa. And so this has been installed on your machine, but it probably has not been set up. So we'll show you how to set that up. The steps we're going to go through in building our VBA script is first we're going to, before we actually write the script, we're going to create and test the SQL query in Microsoft Access. So we want to make sure that our SQL is correct and that it works against the data so that when we're in VBA, we know we've got a valid SQL script. There aren't any bugs in the script and things are working. Then we're going to move over to Excel. And since we're going to be bringing data out of Access into Excel, we'll go set up the Excel interface tab uh, on the workbook tab where we're going to be bringing the data in. So we'll create some headings uh, and put a button on there. I did that before before we started this, before I started the video. I'll just show you that I've already got that done and ready to go. Then I'll show you how we set up this Microsoft database access object so that we can go in and it will let us be able to extract the data through Excel by getting it from Access. Then we'll write and we'll test the code. In Microsoft Access, I have a database called Chinook. Chinook is a, you can consider it as a small company that sells music tracks like MP3 tracks to various customers in various countries. The database has been set up so that we have customers that uh, will make a purchase through an invoice and on the invoice the various tracks from the various artists are recorded. And so a track and an invoice comes together and we have all of the different tracks on an invoice. The specific tracks come from albums and albums are produced by artists. And then each track has a genre like country western or pop or you know punk rock or, or whatever the case may be. So this is a database where uh, I set this database up so that it is ready to go and all of the primary and foreign key links are in place. So for example, if we go in and we look at artists, then we have these various artists and uh, we know we can look at track. And these are the various tracks and you can see they're 99 cents a piece and they're all linked back to the albums and the albums are linked to the artists. So that's what this data is. And what we want to do is we want to be able to, in the script we, we're going to run, we're going to want to be able to link between invoices and customers and we'd like to be able to see how much money is being spent by customers to buy music in these various countries. If we go look at customer, then we can see that they're in various countries. And I eliminated some of the information. Uh, I didn't put in their addresses and phone numbers and emails and so forth. But you can see what the customer's name was and what country they're in. And that way we'll be able to summarize you know, how much music is being purchased from the various countries and we'd also be able to see which artists are selling the most tracks and which tracks are the best selling tracks and so forth. So that's a little bit of background into the database so you can see what's there. What we're going to do is we're going to get the totals for these invoices by countries and I set up a script to do that. And so what this does is it does a join. Let's go look at the SQL code 
from the customer and invoice table, it goes and finds the country that the customer is in. And then we use that country and then we count the invoices. And then we also sum up the total sales across those invoices. And then we're also going to find out the average sale across those invoices. So this is what's going to be, re this is going to be what's brought back by the query from these two tables. I'm using the WHERE clause to do a join across the primary and foreign key of those two tables. Then I'm going to group by country. I'd like to see you know, how much sales are being generated from the various countries. And then we'll order by country and uh, we'll just do that alphabetically so that we can see alphabetically these results. So here's the query and I debugged it and I know it works. So our query is going to produce these results. So here's the number of invoices. Uh, for the USA and then here's the total sales from the United States and then the average amount on the invoice is five dollars and seventy five cents and it goes down to the various countries in the in in the database and so you know we can see you know some countries have a handful of sales and some countries have more sales all right so this this is what's going to get pulled out of the database and, and that SQL script is what's going to be used to be able to do that